got my best mate Delroy, yeah, he's, he's, uh, his parents come over from Jamaica, right, and he voted fucking Brexit. He's a fucking leaver, can you believe that, Delroy? I mean, what's the matter with you, yeah? When, 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 they, when they talk of a curb on immigration, who do you think they're talking about? And Delroy, I love you, yeah? Like a brother, but you may act like us. You may sound like us, but you, but you, will, you will never be one of us. And deep down, you know it. You, you, I mean, you must do, because this is England we are talking about. Banana f throwing on the, on, on, on the pitch, that's a thing of the past, but the anger is still there. It's making a comeback. It's coming out in droves. Um, but may, 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 maybe, maybe you just choose not to, Delroy. I, but Delroy. This is this is this is not me talking. This is this is my dad. Or maybe it isn't. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I think if one thing that shows with that with that segment is you know words are powerful. It can be as potent as dangerous as a bullet coming out of a gun. He launches at everybody. He takes no prisoners. He attacks. His family, taxi, his friends, particularly Delroy, his black friend, who he grew up with. I think he realises something's wrong, everything is wrong that he feels, and he just wants to do what he can to strip it down, even if it means attacking his best friend who is black. Point out their own inconsistencies as such, and also what, you know, what he feels you know, a black person you know, sh should be about, what they believe in, and, and such. He wants to tear it all down, so it's at his most lethal and most dangerous. The relationship between Michael and Delroy, this is played out with the backdrop of Delroy experiencing racism, of Delroy trying to assimilate, Delroy trying to fit in, of Michael recognising what the attributes of Delroy that he is somehow having to shave off to be accepted. For Michael, th this observation gives him an insight into what Britain does on a whole to its ethnic minorities. For Michael to be then met with a Delroy who has embraced it to such a degree, or to drink the Kool-Aid of the United Kingdom, at what cost? When I was a child growing up on a council estate in West London, at the time it was predominantly white. There was, there was a lot of things we had in common. We all, we all grew up in council estates black and white, working class, you know, just striving to earn a crust, getting by. So there wasn't that much difference between us. So I, I grew up with a level of understanding them and they grew up with a level of understanding me. We hope that it's a, a fascinating take on, on how complicated it is to grow up in Britain. It, it's Michael trying to reference how history has marked him and how his core beliefs are almost a trained response and he doesn't know if he can un unpick these core beliefs. I would long for, I don't know, some kind of atmosphere, climate in this country where we're allowed or encouraged to be more forensic about what we really believe in. Where we question ourselves and say, okay, do I really, really believe in that? You know, do I honestly have a, have a view or am I just uttering the words of somebody else? Having Michael go through that in a play is kind of our way of kind of arguing that.